Hi, this is Rubat Khan again, and welcome to Think Programming Intermediate. If you are new to programming, I suggest you watch my playlist named Think Programming Starters. The link is given in the description box. This course is a complete guide to brainstorming and working out a solution on a piece of paper before we actually code. So this is a problem we, ha we have at hand where we are given two NumPy arrays, A1 and A2, and they're of the same length, and they contain elements of type integers and none. And our task is to add the elements of each array from the opposite direction, and that is the first number of A1 with the last number of A2, the second number of A1 with the second last number of A2, and so forth. And then store the results in a new array and return it. And we have to note something, that is, we have to convert the non-values to zeros. So let us now segment the parts of the question. So at first, it said it is the question says that we are given a couple of arrays, a1 and a2 of the same length, and they contain integers and none. So let us draw this. So this is the first segment we have over here. And let us draw what's exactly written over here. So we are given two arrays, a1 and a2. and they contain integers and non-values. Now the second segment says, our task is to add the elements of each array from the opposite direction. That is, we have to add the first number of A1, with the last number of A2. Then we have to add the second number of A1 with the second last of A2. And then we have to store the results. So we have to store the results in a new array and return it. That is, we have to create a new array now let us create a new array and let's name it A3. And A3 will also be of the same length of A1 and A2 because when we add numbers, the number of elements do not increase. And so the last part says we have to convert the non values to zeros because we cannot add none to integers so what we have to do is we first have to add 10 with 30 the result will be stored over here then we have to add none and bef and before we add none with 20 we have to convert this to zero so it will be basically zero plus 20 and the result will be stored in the next available space and this will continue so this is uh, so i have drawn the question the, the each segment of the question now let us work out a solution so as we have to add the first number with the last number of uh, first number of a1 with the last number of a2 let us take two pointers so the first pointer, let's call it i, and let it point at index number 0. So this is an array, and we know that arrays are indexed. So let's say So, I, so the first pointer, i, points at 0, and let's take another pointer, j, and let it point at index 3 of A2, which is basically length minus 1 of A2. So what I have to do is, I have to add the ith element of A1 
with the jth element of A2 and store the result inside A3 and the first result will be stored at 0. So let us take another pointer x that will point at 0. So the result will be stored inside x index of A3. So there is the summation is 40, so 40 will be stored over here. Now after we are done with the first summation, we have to proceed to the next number. That is, we have to increment the pointer from 0 to 1, or we have to increment i from 0 to 1. And we have to decrement j from 3 to 2. And we have to increment x from 0 to 1 as well. So after doing this work for the first time, we have to increment i, we have to decrement j, and we also have to increment x. And then repeat. So repeat means all these have to be inside a loop. So now let's proceed. So again, we have to add the ith element with the jth element. So i now points at none. Now I cannot add none with 20. So before I add, I have to convert this none to zero. And how do we do that? Simply we check if the ith element or the jth element is none, we make it zero. So we check if ith element or the jth element is none or not. Okay, so this is basically the, uh, the, the rough work of what we have to do. Now let us draw a clear picture. So we had two arrays, A1 and A2. The first thing we did was we created, or so we create a new array, A3 of the same length. as A1, A2. Then we take three pointers. I, J, and X, where I will be initialized to zero. J will be initialized to length of length of a1 minus 1 and x will be also initialized to 0. Then we have to run a loop. We have to run a loop. And we have to work with all the numbers so the loop will run from 0 to length, which will cover all the numbers, right? So run loop from 0 to length minus 1, or 0 to length, and before we actually add, we have to check whether the ith element or the jth element is none or not, so we have to put an if condition over here, if ith element is none j 
then make it zero. Same check for the jth element. If jth element is none, then make it zero. So if the ith element is not none, then it will remain as it is. And if the jth element is not none, then it will remain as it is. Then what we do is we find the summation. Let's save it in a variable s. So ith element of a1 plus the jth element of a2. And we have to store the summation inside a3. Then store s inside a3 pointed by x. So after doing all these, we have to increment. So increment i and x. Decrement j. And the loop continues for every element. So you see it's very important that you draw each segment of the question so that you can visualize what's happening and what we have to do. And also, if there are mistakes, we can also find out mistakes and it will be easier for us to troubleshoot if we have the diagrams in front of me. And this step is very crucial before you code because if you don't have, have a proper or the correct plan, no matter how, how skillful coding you, coder you are, you're going to make a mistake and you're going to get stuck or produce a wrong piece of code, okay? So you need to focus on this step, this designing step very well. And after you uh, do the design, you need, to, you need to do a little test. So let us test what we have designed so far. So let's say I have A1 with just three numbers and let's, let's say n equals none. And this is an A2 where I have two numbers and a non value. So now let us do exactly what we've planned. So we created, a, so we'll have to create a new array A3. So let's do create A3 of the same length of A1 and A2. Then let us have three pointers i, j, and x, where i will be equal to zero. So i will be basically pointing over here. j will be pointing over here, and x will be pointing to a3 over here. Now run loop from zero to length, so the loop starts. Now I check if the ith element is none. So if the ith element is none, it's true, it's none, so make it zero. So let's make it zero. So let's make it zero. Then if the jth element is none, the jth element is also none, so make it zero. Then we do the summation of the ith element with the jth element. That is, we have a zero over here and zero over here. We add them up. So we have a variable called s. So I have an s over here, which stores a summation. So zero plus zero is basically zero. And then we store this zero inside a3x, which means I store zero over here. And then we increment i, so i moves to index number 1, and we decrement j, j moves to index number 1 as well, and we also have to increment x, so x moves from 0 to 1. My loop continues, we have to first check if these elements pointed by i and j are none or not, so they are not none, so you add them up, 10 plus 20 is 30. Store 30 over here. And again, increment i, decrement j, and increment x. The values pointed by i and j are not none, so add them up and store it inside this box pointed by x. So 30 again over here. 
So increment i decrement j increment x. And now my loop should stop because I'm done with work, I'm done working with all the numbers. So whatever we have designed and our test matches exactly with our expected output. So therefore, my planning is correct. Now your job is to write a code according to what we have planned. Thank you very much. So